So let's take a look at the UI of Sketchbook Designer. There is a navigation bar which has a set of options like, for example, this navigation wheel that allows you to either zoom or pan in real time. You can also access the navigation wheel by simply pushing the space bar and doing exactly the same operations. We have an actual size zoom and, of course, the zoom extends, as well as zoom and pan in real time, just like any other navigation bar from Autodesk. And we can also, in this case, rotate the canvas and flip horizontally and vertically as pretty much any other image editing application. We can also zoom and pan with our mouse wheel as long as you have SP2 for Sketchbook Designer 2012. And if we go back to the Rotate tool, if it will also snap to certain angles like zero, so you can go back to the first state. Sketchbook Designer also has a toolbar which reacts depending on which kind of layer you're working on. And let's also see the properties. So in this case, the attribute editor allows, allows us to change different properties of the options that we are having based on, for example, the kind of brush or the kind of transform that we're doing. Another thing to consider is the color wheel. How we change color in Sketchbook Designer is through three methods. The first of one of is color wheel, the second one is through RGB or CMYK colors, and the third one, which is pretty interesting, once you define the color, you see how it affects a certain shape, like for example, a sphere or a cube. So just define a color through the color wheel, and then you'll be able to use the color picker to define specifically which piece of that um, color you will take. The other option here is the layer manager to the right, um, in which we will also have another uh, other sets of options. Now let's take a look at the marking menus. When you left click with your mouse, you will get to the marking menu, which for example will allow you to either make new paint or vector layers, just make a stroke, and once you know the position of the marking menus, you'll just make the stroke and don't even need to see what's happening. The other one I'm just using right now is the uh, layer folder, which allows us to merge everything into one folder. In this case, for example, let's see that now we can merge all this whole information into just one layer. The layer folder is great to organize the whole drawing. Then you can also clear the layer, just delete everything from the layer, but keep in the layer and also delete the layer. Just again, just like any other image editing application. And we can also copy all the content of the layer by duplicating the layer. Here are two other options which are merging. And in this case, let's see what happens when we do merge visible. It will merge pretty much all the layers that are not hidden at that time. In this case, they were all vector layers, so it comes back to a vector layer. And then you can also merge down into the immediate layer below. So those are the options for the interface for Sketchbook Designer. Stay tuned.